Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about ring counter program in PIG 16 of 8778 through assembly level language. In other words, we can say this program as running LED program. So, let's get into the program. So, here is the program. I have initialized the variables for each and every registers I are going to use. So, this, uh, this is for the ports, tris and uh, status registers and these are all the uh, file register. These are the special function register and these are all the uh, file registers going to use. So, to configure the tris register, you should select bank 1. For that, I am using B BSF status comma file. So, it will set a bank 1 and then I am giving instruction as clear of tris C. So, this instruction will made tris C as an output register. This instruction used to select the bank 0 itself because uh, ports are available in bank 0. So, that I am selecting the bank, uh, bank 0. After that, I am loading a binary value to the W register and then I move it to the uh, RT. So, RT is I already initialized as 23rd register. So, I am uh, moving this binary value to the RT register. After that, I am loading a, a D9 value that is decimal value 9 to the W register and then I move it to the count register. Count also I have initialized that is 24th register. Now, we coming to our main program that is decrement file skip 0. This instruction is used for checking the count register whether it is 0 or not. If it is 0, then it will skip this instruction or else it will continue to this instruction. In our case, uh, the value in the count register is D9. So, it will not skip here, it will not skip this. So, it will continue to this. So, what is the uh, next instruction? That is go to rotate. Go to is an unconditional jump uh, instruction. So, whatever the label you given here, it will directly jump to that label. So, in, in our case rotate, rotate is I given here. So, this is our main instruction RLF, rotate left file RT comma 1. This instruction is used to rotate the values inside the register. So, in our RT register, I have given the uh, binary value as 0, 1. After executing this instruction, it will rotate the value from the 1 to here. So, that is 1, 0. Then it will store in the same register of RT. If you give here 0, it will store the value in the W register. So, if you give 1, it will store the uh, values in the same register you given here. After that, we should move this value to the port C to display. We cannot directly move, move the values from one register to other register. We should use the W register as an intermediate to move from one file to another file. So, that we using move F RT comma 0. So, it, this instruction is used to move the values from the or move the content from the RT register to W register. And then I am giving a move WF port C. This will move the whatever the content in the W register to the port C. After rotating one time, I have given a small delay about 200 millisecond. I already explained this delay function in LED blinking program. If you want a detailed explain of this delay, delay program, you can go to blink video I have already posted. So, after executing some delay, it will go to main function. What is our main function? Decrement file skip 0 count. So, it will another time check whether the count is 0 or not. So, in our case, it will rotate for 8 times because our it is our 8-bit register. So, it will rotate for 8 times to complete the cycle. But I have given the value as 9. Why? Because we are using the RLF function with carry. Because we cannot run the RLF file alone to rotate the instruction. We are also using the carry to rotate the instruction. So, the last value, so the 8th value is stored in the carry. To move the 8th value to the 0th position, we need an another count to move it. So, that only I given the value as 9. So, once the value is become 0, this will skip this instruction and it will go to reload. So, uh, the, this is our file instruction. So, it will skip this file. Then it will go to uh, this instruction. So, this uh, here is a low reload label. So, reload label is here. So, it will another time it will load the value as D9 and it will move to count. So, the process will be infinite till the our, uh, of our microcontroller. So, that's all our program. We can test through the Proteus and then we can uh, test through the hardware. So, giving build. Build succeeded. So, go to Proteus. So, here I have connected the 8 LEDs to the port C. So, I am going to upload this program. This is the hex file. Do OK. Now, you can run this program. See how the LEDs are being chasing here. So that's all the video. Thank you.